So this video is basically gonna be my like pledge of allegiance to um, Big Food Die. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Smoothie Chronicles, uh, the series where we pioneer new smoothie flavors that have never been tasted before. I know you guys have just been itching to get another episode of the thing that like a very, very tiny percentage of YouTube watches. I am a fan of Red 40 Maxing. I got a couple general updates for you guys. You know, I've been dealing with some health problems. Uh, I wonder why. Uh, health problems that I should honestly go visit a doctor's office for, but, you know, I'm not going to. And it's not for any particular reason, like, it's not like I can't afford, like, health insurance. But the health problems have been, uh, pertaining specifically to my hips. And it's when I move them in a very certain fashion, I just hear a lot of weird noises, and it's really concerning. I'm having a hard time diagnosing the problem myself, so if there's any medical professionals watching this video right now, I'm gonna recreate the sound right now so that you can have a listen. So put your headphones in, turn the volume up, and, uh, and, and get your notepad out, because here it comes. Yes, King. I fucked the big boys good. Yes, King. Today we're making a Red 40 smoothie. If you've been paying attention over the last couple years, especially to the white Facebook moms of America, you would have seen that Red 40 has been demonized to its core. But why is it being demonized? Well, supposedly, Red 40 has some pretty harmful effects, especially in children and developing juveniles. Jits, if you will. The scientists that are kind of trashing on Red 40 40, uh, they just sound really jealous to me because all these kids get to eat Red 40 and like they don't. So it just sounds like a skill issue to me. It sounds like a, I can't have it. So I'm going to make sure that no one else can have it situation. Well, guess what? If the national average for Red 40 consumption wasn't skewed before, it's about to be. I gotta go run by the store and go pick up food that has Red 40 in it. But before I do that, since it's 11.20 p.m., I'm gonna take a quick power nap, and uh, when I wake up, I'm gonna be in full go mode. It's gonna be great. The kids need Red 40. 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 <sighs> It's go time, ladies and gentlemen. Come with me on this voyage to get some Red 40. I just busted in my pants. You know what I absolutely love in my foods is Red 40. <laughs> yeah. All right, so the store haul, strawberry snack packs, We've got Hershey's strawberry syrup. We have M&Ms. As much as this is an educational piece, this is also an informational piece uh, so that you guys can learn what foods contain Red 40, which also includes the obligation to eat the foods that have Red 40. We have Mott's strawberry applesauce, We've got spicy nacho Doritos, and we have fruit punch Gatorade. Now, usually I make my smoothies with milk and stuff, but uh, I think we've got enough Fruit Punch Gatorade and Hershey's Syrup to make this cow moo. I also have something else that's really just gonna be the piece de resistance for this video. Well, obviously, you know, we're not painting our face black. If you guys are ever out and about, like driving on the freeway, and you pull up next to a car and I happen to be inside of it, and your immediate thought is, Man, I should totally cut this guy off. It would be the funniest thing in the world. Just remember that I am on my phone. The faster my speedometer goes, the more urgently I have to send that text. You know, if you've got like your family of four in the car with you and you and you decide to cut me off, you know, it would be such a shame if I, if I happened to just be playing Clash of Clans going 80 miles an hour the second you decided to do it. Because I love the Food and Drug Administration so much, I am just itching to get started. <clears throat> Oh my gosh. I love Red 40. I love Red 40. I support the Food and Drug Administration. We're gonna start off with some M&Ms. We're gonna just take the ones that are red. Yep, that's red, that's red. Have I ever told you guys how much I love Red 40? Got a few more here. Oh, come on, focus, you whore. Snack packs. Ugh. Oh my gosh! It just... <laughs> I got a couple more. Just get it in there. The last two are orange, so I don't really need them. We're gonna have to do this periodically because we have a lot to blend here. Next up, we have the Mott's Strawberry Applesauce. Ugh. Ugh. Oh 
god. Some spicy nacho Doritos. Ah. And last but not least, some strawberry Hershey's syrup. Oh, I love Red 40 so much. Wow, that's, you know what? We don't even need this little topper. It's just gonna. I present to you the Red 40 smoothie. I just want you guys to like look at the contrast between the red of my face and the red of the smoothie. Oh, that's an outstanding smell. I don't know how I'd rate it because it's kind of a hybrid between like strawberries and chemicals. Uh, I'm sensing that your neurons are in an underwhelmed state. And before I drink this, they must be stimulated. Try this on for size. <laughs> Now that you've been brought back into a state where your mind is clear, let's give this bad puppy a taste. <coughs> so first impressions, there's a lot of chunks of stuff, so I'm assuming like some of the M&Ms didn't get ground up, but this is by far and large not the worst thing I've ever tasted in this series. Now you notice that we've got quite a lot of liquid left in here. You know, as a kid, you go to your friend's house and your friend's parents would give you dinner. And even if you didn't like what they gave you for dinner, you didn't want to be rude. So you like, you ate, you finished your meal. It's the same concept here. This meal was provided by the Food and Drug Administration. I am the guest at the Food and Drug Administration's house and they have provided me dinner. We will finish our dinner. <laughs> From, from what I'm feeling right now, you know, I, I'm not feeling irritable. Uh, I, I don't seem to exhibit signs of ADHD. <laughs> <coughs> We're not in good shape, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. Mm. <coughs> uh... Michelle Obama would just be so proud of me right now for finishing my, my fruits and veggies. In fact, I liked it so much, I need to get a little more off the little walls in here. I think now it's time to run a couple diagnostic tests uh, for all the Facebook moms out there that are wondering if they can feed this to their children. To which the answer is yes, you absolutely can and should. Uh, but yeah, so now I'm gonna run kind of like a school simulator test and, and just see, can I focus? Can I solve a few, you know, math problems uh, w without my ADHD kicking in? Uh, stay tuned and let's find out. Alright, there you have it folks. As you can see during the diagnostic tests, the uh, the Red 40 smoothie that I consumed did not have an impact on my cognitive abilities or my ability to learn new topics. So moms of America, if you're worried about the Food and Drug Administration and their infinite wisdom, uh, worry no further. You can now confidently consume Red 40 uh, and you can feed it to your kids too. That about does it. I will catch you guys on the next episode of the Smoothie Chronicles or whatever else I choose to make. Yeah, you want my answer to this math test? I'll give it to you, all right. There's your answer.